Here we go, live. Hmm. Hey everybody, it's John Bon Jovi. I've been having a little fun lately. Um, I put a camera in anyone's hand, in everyone's hand, and said, take a picture of your house that's not for sale. And and I, I post this as a challenge to y'all. I have stood out in front of sandcastles and stadiums, and we've taken pictures, and Tico's done the same, and David has done the same, and Phil and, and Hugh are doing the same. So there's a stamp uh, that you can apply to your picture of your house that's not for sale on bonjovi.com. Go there, add a picture to mine. Let's see uh, if we can have a little fun with this. Uh, you know, be creative. And, and the more you do, the more we'll do, the more I'll do. And you know how much I like social media. So uh, I'll do it if you do it. Go to bonjovi.com, get the stamp, take a picture of your house that's not for sale. Okay, John, welcome to Thomond Park. I'm sure you'll get a great reception here. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Thank you. It's, it's very kind of nice. I'm so excited to be here. From the point to the RDS, to the Olympic stadiums, to Lansdowne, this was always the goal. I don't know if it's the spiritual connection or just the accent or <laughs> it's the ladies. I haven't figured it out, but there's there's something about Ireland that's more special to me than just about any place. I, I've been asked the world over, where's my favorite place? And I say it's the people. Good head, kid. Mmm. Mm. Hi, Mr. John. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Uh, hi. I can I get you a drink? I actually have your favorite wine. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I was in Dublin this summer for a couple of days, and people still talk about the infamous rain show when I summoned the angels from heaven. And as I was talking on the microphone about a sold out show and the angels are crying and that's why it's raining. And just as I was being blasphemous, the biggest bolt of lightning went off and the thunder clapped and I fell to my knees out of fear and I climbed up the microphone stand and I said into the mic, who knew that you Irish were so powerful? And people still talk about that. That was one of the great nights in our career ever. I heard you were looking for an Irish passport. How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened here. And I've said it a hundred times, I wish I were Irish. I heard it here first. She hopes anyway. Keep dreaming of and, uh, and don't let anyone tell you no. 